The Philippines is often seen as a country with an outstanding business outsourcing industry, substantial mining exports, or even as a hub for providing human capital around the world. Little is said, however, that the country is a large and growing exporter of electronic goods. It is, in fact, the country's largest type of goods that it exports. In 2021, the country exported a total of 74.6 billion US dollars around the world, but 46 billion dollars of it belongs to its electronic sector, indicating that the electronic sector is an enormous economic activity to the country, even larger than the 29 billion dollar BPO industry. It is even noted in several reports that this is the most important industry in the Philippines. So, how did the Philippines electronic sector grow so big? And what does its future look like? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. The Philippines has been a long-time manufacturing destination for electronics. It houses some of the world's biggest companies, Texas Instruments, Analog Devices, ST Microelectronics, and IMI Electronics are just a few examples. But the most important day for the entire industry was way back in the 1970s, when early investments from the giant chipmaker Intel made their way, and thereafter followed by other manufacturing companies from both the US and the EU. At that time, the industry only employed around 5,000 people. But by the next decade, local firms had seen the opportunity of this so-called electronic manufacturing and paved the way to the start of the country's largest industry. By 1984, it now employed well over 47,000 people, and just a few years after that, Japanese investments came and unlocked a vast amount of potential in the nation, from Toshiba, Fujitsu, Kyocera, Epson, and much more. Come the 21st century, the South Koreans have then followed the trend and began their operations as well. In just a few decades, the Philippines electronic industry, in 2010, is now employing 207,000 people. Today, we can see the vast companies spanning across the world operating in the land, and huge investments are still being poured into this electronic industry. In 2021, we exported a value of $46 billion worth of electronics and up to $40 billion in 2020, and doubled that of in 2012 at $23 billion. What makes the electronic industry so big is four institutions, namely the education system, which contributes over half a million engineering and technology graduates each year. The increasing importance of the country's research and development centers are also paving the way for the future of the company's competitiveness. But the most important ones among these lie in the Semiconductor and Electronic Industries in the Philippines Foundation, or SEIPI for short. The organization seeking to continuously enhance and improve the lives of the Philippines electronic industry. The reason, however, why this is also important today is because of what happened in 2021, when there was ongoing supply chain issues in the semiconductor field, or as they call it, the world is running out of computers. For the Philippines, this was an opportunity of a lifetime and rather opened a bigger opportunity for the future. Why? Because among the electronic products it exported in 2021, the largest bulk of it was actually semiconductors, standing at 73% of the entire electronic industry. These chips are a key component in powering the computers of today and are increasingly becoming more important for tomorrow's digital future. Hence, why it even became one of the fastest growing exporting goods during that year, despite being so big already. All of these are paving the way for grander opportunities. The future state, on the other hand, seems like everything is in good hands. The government of the nation has continuously been favoring the industry. The Philippine Economic Zone Authority Director General Charito B. Plaza stated that they are looking to improve local electronic locators and help enable an easier way for the industry's application and permit processing. Moreover, the newly enabled foreign investment of 100% ownership will increase the investment flows into the country and make the industry's demand flourish further. With that, the sector is now expected to grow a further 10% by the end of 2022, which is by quick estimates around $50 billion. And if the entire industry and government alike execute with precise governance and thorough capital allocation, then we can see that one day the entire electronic export industry may reach the $100 billion threshold in the future.